Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video we are going to be doing the contest called Mountain Ride. So here is that contest mapped out. So you start it at the motel here, you go down, and then I kind of marked out but not exactly where the points are because for some reason if you see in the top left corner, see my mouse over here, if I use the controller at all it moves it to way over there. So I don't know exactly where the points are, but yeah, this is basically where you go and you'll follow this little ridge here and then I specifically remember this turn was like, oh crap, it's way off to the right, so it might even be over here, but I think it's down like this way and then through here and then you just follow the shoreline uh, all the way over to the main road and then you follow that up for a ways and then turn off here. And this is sort of that rocky path that I was talking about. I've gone up this like three times. There's rocks sticking out both sides, so you kind of want to use a thinner truck until you get to like right here, then it's kind of fine. But it's kind of hard to climb through this part. So once you get up there, you just turn right, turn left here, and you're back to the start. All right, so the goal for this is 545, because I finally remembered to check before I started for once. And I don't know if this is the best truck to use for this, and it's actually probably not. But we're going to try, because this truck I've had at the, uh, the warehouse just south of here, basically for the entire phase. It's been my truck to check what's in the warehouse. And that might sound kind of dumb to some of you guys, like why would you leave a truck just at the warehouse? But honestly, it's going to save you guys a lot of driving time. Because you can check on the map like what a what a warehouse has, but I don't know if you can check like after you've taken stuff. Like it might say, oh, you got you can have metal beams there, and you might drive all the way out there, and it's like, no, normally it has metal beams, but you took all of them. You have zero left. Like I don't know if it shows that or not, but um, yeah, I'm just uh, assuming that it doesn't. So if it does, then I guess you don't really need it, but. Yeah, I like to uh, drive a vehicle out and just leave them at the warehouse and kind of get a good idea of what's there and what's not all the time and try and figure out where I'm going to take what from, like where it makes sense to grab stuff from because uh, it's not always the closest warehouse that you want to grab it from because sometimes you might have contracts that are farther later on and it would make sense to grab something... Oh gosh... Makes it... Oh, okay, we're in high. Oh, crap. Good way to do the contest. But it would make sense to grab something that's a little bit farther for that one, but closer for the next one kind of thing. Uh, oof. I think that tree just saved me. I think I would have ran off the edge there if it wasn't for that. Yeah, here's the part where I remember being like, oh, crap, it's down to my right. So yeah, here's the icons. Yes, it is way over to the right. Okay. I had the icon over here, but I'm like, I don't know if it's that far over. But yeah, I guess it is. Got around the tree first. This is the part that I'm most worried about. Because, I don't know, this mud could really get, get to this truck, I think. We'll see, though. It might be the rocks. The rocks are not... not treatment is too well. 5.45 though, I think we're about halfway. So we're headed for about five minutes, I think we're good. Oh, we're cruising through that. Okay, let's go try and ride the edge of this real close. I wasn't sure when I left, because I had a full tank of gas and full roof rack or whatever, trunk, supplies, whatever it was, and I was like, uh, I don't want the extra weight, so I dumped it into the cat up here, because, you know, this was sitting at this warehouse, but yeah, I think it was probably a good idea, it doesn't look like I would uh, need the extra fuel here, so, good choice, I think, I gotta get close enough to get my little marker out of the way, there we go. Get back on the road. Okay, two, three, four. 
I almost slipped coming out here, right here, in this little mud pit here. There we go. Alright, we got two minutes to get there. I think we're doing alright, but I feel like I could be could be closer. Okay, here's where we gotta turn. Again, you guys probably want to use a little thinner vehicle for this. For this rock part, which I said earlier, but you'll probably see why here in just a second, because Because, yeah, up here, once we round this corner and start going up this hill, it's... with a, a fatter vehicle, you're going to start hitting both edges, and then it's kind of hard to climb. So if you have a thin one, you can sort of weave left and right between them. So here we go. Alright. And, yeah, no... Now it's where the fun begins, huh? But yeah, this is the part that might be kind of tough if you have a, a, a wider vehicle. I've gone through here twice with wider vehicles, and you can make it, but it's just a little bit harder because you have to bounce off each of these ones, and then your back end's catching on the other one, and then your front end's catching, and... Let's see, it's going high, I hope. Yeah, it does. Oh, crap, I don't think we're going to make it to gold. Oh no. Yeah, there's just no way. We're too slow. Yep, we're too slow. There we got silver. All right. So I guess we tried, and we failed. Six oh six. All right. So we got a second truck here. We're gonna try it with the pike. This was the closest. But also, I think it's going to be one of the better ones to try anyways, so we'll try. Uh, we got a freeway gearbox in here, so we can go up to 8th. I think we should, I mean, we're already making way better time, I think. Just, you know, bigger truck, bigger clearance, just better overall. You guys can probably check back at the start of the video and just see where we were at, but I feel like we're already leaps and bounds ahead of where we were. Probably like double time. Like we were here at like 58 seconds. Well, not double, I guess, but a third faster or something. Which would mean if we got it in six minutes before, obviously we probably won't keep this pace, but maybe like four and a half, something like that. As long as we're there before uh, 545, that's what I care about. And I'm going to back up here because I do not want to tip off on that rock. There we go. Oh, wow. That was... Uh, quite the, the welcome. But yeah, it's also a little easier the second time you always do these because you know where you're going, you know. Whoa. And I, I guess technically this is my third time doing it. I did it once on PTS. I'm trying to remember which truck I used. I don't even remember. Huh. Oh, I used the Jeep Wrangler. Yeah, because the crawler suspension. That was kind of scary. Came flying in there. 
All right, we are two minutes and 20 seconds in. This time I don't have an icon here, so we can just go right out to the road. And we're cruising, man. I think last time we were at like four minutes here or something. So we're about a minute ahead. So now we've lost a little bit. We went from like 33% ahead to like 25 or so. You guys will have to let me know how I did. You know, could, could we have improved that CK1500 time, do you think? I was... I had the pedal to the metal most of the time, but it just... It, uh, couldn't make it. It was just a little too slow. So, I think this has a little thinner tires. The truck bed might give us problems, we'll see. No. Yeah, a little bit. Alright, yeah. We're almost there. Oh shoot, we were climbing it. There we go. And we are off. So that's why you want a thinner truck right there. So, probably prefer to scout, you know, preferably, but I guess you can make it work with some bigger trucks. Just uh, be careful. Well, I guess maybe I don't even need to say be careful because I tried it with a scout and it was like a minute minute too slow, but here we're about a minute ahead, so I guess go ahead, use the big truck. It can uh, it can get there faster even if you struggle a little bit at that part. You made up time the rest of the way, so Alright. Here we go guys, final final little hoorah. Got the victory horn. 452. Alright guys, that is going to be it for this video. If you haven't already, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe as we're trying to grow the channel and I would greatly appreciate your help in doing that. And odds are, if you guys like this type of content, you guys like content that I've made in the past and also content that I will make in the future. So, as always, stay tuned till the next one. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.